At this point, investigators tell us they have been able to identify three victims, but the concern here, they say, is that they uncovered hundreds of images, photos, videos, they say, on tablets, computers, things that were owned by Brian Harris, things found in his Bristol home. They say they are not able to identify all of the children depicted, and they are asking for your help. His name is Brian Harris. He wasn't on the radar of police until Halloween. Predators are very good at what they do. Harris, according to the first assistant district attorney, Jen Shorn, has been abusing children for at least the last five years, but police don't know, they say, where most of those children are today. Perhaps one of the most shocking facts is that our youngest victim is two years old. A friendly neighborhood guy, we've been told, got to know parents, gained their trust, and then left alone with small children, male and female. He abused them. Harris, according to court documents, uploaded images and videos of the abuse and chatted with other, quote, like-minded child predators, expressing a desire to abuse more children. According to court documents, some of the abuse happened when the victims were sleeping. How Bucks County detectives discovered Harris began with a tip. This came in as a single image cyber tip. The National Center for Missing and Exploited Children got that tip and contacted the Bucks County District Attorney's Office on Halloween. The image was shared via Snapchat. Once detectives identified Harris, the home he lives in in Bristol was searched. Laptops, tablets, phones, and other devices held hundreds of videos. Files were labeled secret or in some cases with the first names of children. Police say now they're working to track where Harris went and who he spent time with. We have concerns about ties to other states that were, are within driving distance to Pennsylvania, in particular uh, uh, Long Beach Island and the Jersey Shore. Shorn also says this parking campground is of special concern to them, as it's a place where multiple families gather in the summer, along with their children. But they're not yet saying why they think Harris was here. They do want to know what you know about him. Harris, we're told, also worked at a home improvement store in the Levittown area. Investigators say that they are talking to co-workers to see if he had any contact with children that he may have been able to get in touch with or meet through his job. And investigators tonight say that Harris, who was arrested in uh, mid-November on that single charge, that child pornography charge, was arraigned again this morning. A judge is holding him on a record bail, $20 million at this point. Investigators say if you know anything about him, they want to hear from you. At this point, there is no attorney listed for Harris. But again, know anything? Call the Bucks County Detectives. In Doylestown, Deanna Durante, NBC10 News.